Barreto Manufacturing is a local manufacturer of hydraulic power machines for tilling, grinding, trenching, log splitting, and chipping. The company began manufacturing in La Grande in 1986, and aside from minor pieces, everything that goes into making these machines is made in La Grande, Oregon. First, the machines are creatively designed from a concept and engineered on the computer program SolidWorks. And using the first prototype, uh, I discovered that we didn't have enough power on this bucket, so I'm going to redesign it with this linkage here to uh, give us increased force on the curl. One of the things I like about uh, the job is, in a word, creativity. We can take a concept or an idea for a product and then turn it into a working machine that we produce. Then the production starts with cutting raw materials like metal bars and sheets to a rough size and shape. Part of my job as uh, the laser programmer is to make sure we're utilizing the most material out of the sheet. I'm shooting for 75% usage of the sheet, upwards of 80. Although I could, uh, I could rotate all my parts to fit more efficiently, in the long run it's not more efficient because these are all going to have different grain angles and they're going to require different tonnage to bend them to our requirements. Sometimes uh, the utilization of the sheet is going to affect uh, our efficiency on the press break. If I'm going to lose a few percentages on utilization, but all the parts are going to be nested the same way, we're, we're definitely going to do that over uh, saving a little bit of material on the sheet. These parts are then further refined by automated lathes and machining processes. From there, the parts are fabricated, powder coated, assembled, and packed up to be shipped off. What's so amazing about all this production is that it's done by Eastern Oregon locals, many of whom started their career at Barreto right out of high school. Out of the many manufacturing companies in Eastern Oregon, Barreto is a highly sought after employer, so to get a job with them, there are a few skills Barreto looks for in its employees. One of the most important skills that Barreto employees need to have is a strong understanding of basic math. You need to understand decimals to change a fraction to a decimal and also degrees of angle. A lot of our material is being bent and it has to fit on another piece of equipment when it's being fabricated. So it's real important to know a little bit more than basic math skills. On a daily basis, Bredo employees use principles of volume, converting fractions to decimals, and percentages of waste. This is the crating and shipping department, and I'm the lead of it. So we are gonna be discussing mathematics in the workplace, and I feel like when you're dealing with a container or a truck that travels down the road, we have to use a lot of different math skills to place these items into a container. We get a purchase order from a customer. I basically take those orders, individual orders, and I put them into individual crates and make sure that those all fit mathematically into the container to travel domestically and internationally. And those needs could change from day to day. So we could go from an original order of X amount of machines, and then they could decide that they don't want three and they wanted to add something different, and then we have to be able to adjust to what they want and still make it all fit into the container, which can be um, challenging. So you usually have a rectangle container and what we're doing is we are, based upon the customer's needs and desires, we are figuring out mathematically how to best use that space. And that can be all different kinds of ways. You can see that this would be a domestic crate and it's not broke down and it's very large. So mathematically, you basically just have to make it a box around this for traveling um, anywhere in the United States. And then you look at a machine like this, which is the exact same machine, but now it has been made as small as possible to travel to Australia. And this is actually quite a story. We started with this machine about an inch and a half or two inches wider and bigger just because of the clearance issues here. We didn't want anything rubbing. And then um, we had an order for 10 machines going to Europe and we were told that it was not gonna fit with our current design so we had to find an inch and a half and so we brought it down 
within those specs, and now we're able to ship those 10 machines, which is a significant amount in sales. My job comes down to the details. It comes down to inches, and if I can't get the product into the container, then I'm unable to ship it to the customer, and then we lose a sale. So at the end of the day, even though the order's been made, we still have to be flexible with the customer. It has to come down to still making it fit in the container. Customer satisfaction is 100% important.